Hey guys, I've got another video for you today. It's another review, but today we're going to be doing another Rocat product. It's the Rocat Arvo Compact Gaming Keyboard. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. So here we are with the Rocat Arvo. It's looking great today, I've got to say. It was a little bit dusty because, um, you know, the PC's been out of action for a little while. Um, I've had a couple of problems, but we need to talk about the different features. So it's got a QWERTY layout, as you can see, QWERTY, QWERTY, I love that word, QWERTY, it's a great word, isn't it? 97 keys in total, so all the function keys, um, escape keys, even these little um, macro thumb keys down here. And then it's got like a number pad as well. This button here, it's not lit up, but it's a little, um, say you're playing flight sim or something, I use this quite a lot. Um, you can hit that, mo it's, a, it's a mode button, you just hit that, it allows you to use these arrow keys instead of having to use W, A, S and D. It depends which you like more, if I'm honest. Um, on their website, it says it only goes up to Windows 7 from Windows XP. Don't believe them. It's a lie. Because um, on my PC, as everyone does nowadays, I've got Windows 10 and it works just fine with it. So um, that's a great feature about that. Um, kind of lying a bit. So overall, it's got quite a nice um, overview. They're not... Well, the... Um, the space key, as you might find in some keyboards, is quite tacky, but you can pick this up off of uh, eBay for 30 quid, so um, you don't really uh, expect much from that. Then it, you've got all the function keys up here to do different things as you would get on a normal keyboard. It's basically a normal keyboard, but with uh, some macro keys. Um, so here's my opinion. I really like this keyboard. Um, it does tend to gather dust in between the keys if you don't look after it properly and um, if it's not cleaned well. But um, that's something that can be sorted out with a little bit of compressed air. Um, it's got a nice Rocat logo up here. It's not a matte finish, but it's uh, it's a shiny um, gloss finish, which is, which is really nice. It makes it look proper. It doesn't light up like um, on the mouse, if you saw my Rocat Nith review, which... Um, well, I really like that mouse. It's my most. It's um, probably the most expensive mouse I've ever had. And um, well, before this keyboard, I had a really crappy Logitech one that were, uh, it was wired, but it was really bad. And then, so we've covered basically covered the keys. Um, it's got all the normal stuff you'd expect to have on a keyboard. All the keys you would want. There's nothing really missing that I could think of. So if we come onto the back, nothing different. If I'm honest, just um. Rocat Arvo, compact gaming keyboard, two feet, these rubber pads to stop it from moving if it's if it's not got the feet up. And the feet, um, they're not they're not they don't have a lot of play in them. They're like like the NIF, they don't have a lot of play in them. They're they're not spring loaded, but they're definitely they're definitely like they're not they don't easily fold down. It's kind of a so basically when you have the keyboard up, they're not gonna collapse without you pushing quite hard. If you look, I have to put quite a lot of pressure on that. For it to go, and then it kind of clicks into place, and there's no play in that at all. So you've got these rubber pads here as well, which I think are just really nice in total. And I just think they work really well. You've got lots of screws. Don't take them off; it'll reveal the insides, which you don't really want to go into unless you, unless you've got some sort of big problem that you really need to go into. So um, basically, it's also got a two meter wired cable. It's not wireless. Sorry, I always do that in all of my videos. And basically, guys, would I recommend this keyboard? I definitely would. If you're looking for a cheap but reliable keyboard that you can use for gaming without fail, this thing has not broken on me ever. But don't spill your drinks on it like in like in the films, in the animated films. Um, yeah, don't spill anything on it because it's not waterproof like most keyboards. Um, I would definitely recommend this. Just search it up online. Um the Arvo, I'll have a couple of links in the description to where you can find it and that's basically the keyboard for you guys definitely recommend it yeah, it's a great little keyboard and I just really like so it so guys, did you like that review of the Rocat Arvo? would you buy it? links down in the description if you would like to buy it um, yeah, so what do you think of the review guys? If you did like the review, a like would be awesome. Or if you didn't like the review, a dislike, that's absolutely fine. All of your feedback really helps me to know what video I should do next. 
So you can comment on how you thought the video went, good or bad, or kind of in the middle, uh, what I could improve on, and what you'd like me to review next. And if you really like my channel and want to see more of me, hit that subscribe button. On a PC you'll be notified every time I upload, but if you're on a mobile there's one little extra step. You have, once you've subscribed, you need to hit that bell next to it, and then right, run through the process to do the, um, do the notification setup. So, if you did like the video, obviously like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video, guys. Bye!